I've been up way too long, clock just hit three. What's up YouTube, it's Mountain Blue here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make rock bass lines all in Ableton without using a physical bass guitar. So the first method I'm gonna show you guys is through the Ableton instruments themselves. So what you're gonna do is go to instruments, go to instrument effect rack right here, click down on it, go to bass, and there's a bunch of really cool options in here. The one that I'm gonna be showing you guys today specifically is rock electric bass. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that onto my MIDI. So now that I have it dragged onto my MIDI track, what I'm gonna do is shift click this area right here. Insert MIDI clip, okay? So I have a short little loop uh, just prepared. It's just some drums and some guitar, so I'm gonna play that really quick. All right, so now we're gonna build the bass line. So easiest way of doing this is if you can, try to remember the bass notes of the chords that you played, especially if it's a guitar song. If you can't, um, an easy way of doing it is to program your bass at a higher octave. So right now I'm on two, so E2. So this is what it's gonna sound like just right now. So as you can tell, it's very high up, but at least it's high enough that I can actually hear the pitch of the note. Okay. All right, so that's the pitch of the note. So I know that the first note is correct. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna fast forward through the rest of this and then show you when I've figured out the rest of the notes. All right, so now that I've figured out all my notes, I'm gonna play it back still at a higher octave just so you guys can hear. So everything sounds right. I'm going to select all of these and shift down an octave. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the bass line in um, over these notes as if it was a real bass. So it's just a simple running bass line. So it would be something like this. And that's going to be it for the first method. All I got to do is copy it. Probably doesn't even have to be that loud. So that's the first method. Um, now the second method is to basically find your own sample. So where I get most of my samples is off of actually Reddit. So um, Reddit beat makers or Reddit we are the music makers or just Reddit drum packs. You can find a lot of cool drum packs that come with bass samples. So this is just a bass sample that I found on Reddit um, in one of my drum packs. So what you're going to do is first go to instruments, okay, we're going to go to simpler and drag this guy. Alright, so now that we have simpler dragged in, you can also use sampler, it's going to depend on your version of Ableton. So again, I'm running Ableton Live 10 standard, so I only have access to simpler but it gets the job done. So what I'm gonna do is drag in my sample into the simpler instrument. Okay. I'm going to make a MIDI path and I'm gonna program SC. All right. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit too. Okay. So I'm gonna play this back. Mute the other track really quick. Okay, so I'm going to play this back.
All right, so as you can tell, it's a little off key, so we're going to have to tune it. So I'm going to audio effects. I'm going to find tuner, drag that onto my MIDI track. Okay, so now when I play it back again, okay, I'm just going to have to tune it up from B flat, basically. So I'm going to go to my simpler, go to controls, and then look for transpose, which is this little guy. All right, so now the instrument's on tune. All right, so my instrument is on tune. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the same MIDI pattern that I programmed for the other instrument, our first example with the Ableton instrument. Okay, and I'm going to paste that pattern onto my new instrument. Okay. And I'm just going to have to shift everything up an octave or two. All right, and it sounds good there. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something new and are able to implement this technique when you're making your own bass lines in Ableton. If you enjoyed the content today, please leave a like below and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more Ableton tutorials, more guitar lessons, and more bass lessons. So if you're interested, uh, just stay tuned. And other than that, have a blessed day. I'm out. Peace.